Hi, I'm the clown white makeup that Alexis Michelle should have used for the rest of her body, Maddie Rand. <laughs> and I'm the local therapist who's gonna be working overtime this week to the suicidal Valentina fans, Jamar 84. And this is not another episode of... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining Maddie Rant in another crossover, crossover episode for ranting and reviewing over tonight's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season nine episode, was this nine or eight now? Now, before we continue, I recommend if you are wearing headphones, take them out. Because I'm going to get loud. Because this one is prepared to be very loud, very rambunctious, <sighs> and very upset, whereas... I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is gonna be we're we're. This is no holds barred. We're not gonna stop the tape at any point in time. This is we're just gonna go through it. Okay, so lightly also, edited. <laughs> an, another disclaimer: If you are pro Valentina and anti Nina, click off this video. If you are anti Nina, click off this video. Click off. Okay. Because <laughs> we're not doing the hater if shit. If you are closed minded twinks, click off this video. Click off. Now that all the warnings are said. Let's proceed. Y'all, and you know what this page is for and what we present here. We do rants and reviews, and I actually have another little tidbit I'm going to do a little later on this uh, week. Well, actually tomorrow with Untucked with the Maddie Rant Diaries, but we'll get to that soon. But I don't want that bullshit on my comment section. I do not, especially after tonight's episode. And I say do it because I'm ready. I'm ready to be petty. I mean, I don't, listen, if I got to wake up in the middle of the night and read someone's fuckery, you know what I'm going to do. It's going to end up being a nasty conversation and it shouldn't be when this is all about opinions. It doesn't have to be nasty. It could be nice, nasty. I don't, I don't know how that looks. I beat bitches up, okay? I, I ask questions later. Like, oh, I'm, what did she say? Oh, she's on the ground mm -hmm. bleeding? Like that type of stuff. But, but listen, listen. And shout out to the people who think you should do this by yourself. Excuse <laughs> <Well>, me. <laughs> Guess what? I'm still here. I'm still here. <laughs> well, that was. That was B. Was here, but. Oh, I was. Well, I was, I'm still here. But I'm not here. gone. Oh, then that's. We should. That should have been Jennifer Holiday then. I'm not going. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're here. We're back. We're back. <laughs> never left. Never left. Okay, so we need to get into tonight's episode. Y'all like fucking two minutes and you're still talking about this? Yeah, we are. Okay, so tonight's episode, y'all are only getting ten minutes of it because we're really going to talk about the last fucking five minutes of the show a lot tonight. They're built up into their team. Well, they're supposed to go into teams for their own little TV pilots. Yay, teams. A team of three and two teams of two. <clears throat> so the teams were Peppermint. Trinity. Uh, uh, Trinity and Alexis Michelle. Uh, Shay and Sasha, obviously. And Nina and Valentina. Because they just... <laughs> they just stood They there. were the only ones that were standing there. And Nina was like, you say you love me, you say I'm so creative, but you walk right past. <laughs> and, and mind you, mind you, here's me. I'm almost like, Nina, you could have put your hands out and been like, hey, because Peppermint did this bit. Uh. Uh, uh. But then again, honestly, I kind of would have did that too, just because you don't know, like, er you feel like everybody's going to be frantic and you just want to be like, okay, let, let the dust settle and mm -hmm. then let me see what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. So I probably would have took the same approach. I'm going to do this in the middle of our video. Watch Go this. Much better. I okay. don't because I can see all this underneath, but it's okay. We're, we're, we're just doing this today, kids. I'm sorry. We can edit that out. We, we're going <laughs> to. We're going to edit that out. We're going to edit that out. But, okay, it's going to be like it shifted like randomly. In the so we've said the teams already. Yes. Proceed. Okay. So we break. Now that we've broken our teams up, we go into the team of three. And thus the fuckery commences with. Miss Michelle, as usual, being extra. Because, you know, they're coming up with the idea. They're like, oh, okay, we can have two women with gay sons, and there could be a nun. That could be funny. Okay, cool, we're riding with we'll it. We'll do a religious bit. Great. Now, <clears throat> Peppermint is putting everything together, and she decides, I want to be the voiceover. Trinity agrees. Alexis, hey, hey, is there any way you could have me and you do it? Like, we have a split part of doing the voiceovers? Because I have a great idea. No. Now, when have you ever heard of a split narrative? I have never heard of it, never seen it, never wanted it to happen. And if it happened, I'm sure the movie or the show was terrible. Now, I'm sure she was trying to say it like, oh, you know, I want to give myself more options to excel and show that Because I'm, I did really horrible last week with my fuckery. Which is fair, <laughs> but if you learn anything about this show, because remember, you try to tell Tamar to just watch the show. Alexis, if you watch the show, you know that you can do a 
lot with a very small part if you do it right. And RuPaul said that during Snatch Game for uh, Pheromone when she did Gigi Gorgeous. So if you're assigned something, you're supposed to make the best of it. You're not just supposed to take, take, take. Because guess what? The more that you take, 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 that gives us that much more to judge you on. So if you fuck some shit up, we have more to judge you on. And she continues to fuck shit up. Girl, Y'all mad at Nina, but Alexis Michelle, that run, Miss Thing, the fuck? Okay, uh, uh-uh. uh, we we running, we running. <laughs> okay, um, running, running, and running, okay. and running. Okay. Oh my God, you got. I'm so- okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> now we move over. Let's we'll shift to Shay and Sasha. Now that was already gonna happen. That was already realized. We knew they were gonna win. Black exploitation meets Russian spy. We're good. We're okay. good. Easy. And I thought to myself, oh, hey, Katya 2.0 with the Russian accent. But I said, no, <laughs> Sasha's from Russia. So I'm not going to do that. But it still was kind of cute how they were eas- they easily put their stuff together. Mm-hmm. Now, Nina and Valentina, mm-hmm. on the other hand, that was like, okay, so what are we going to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Oh, I don't know. Well, they sounded like they were getting some stuff together. Like, oh, wait, we could be, we could be working together, like in an office. They had the concept. Or blah, blah, blah. Well, but... they didn't have the concept. No, they just had ideas. And it was like, let's put it all out there. But it just wasn't, you know, it didn't come together. And the episode really did set up them two to lip sync. It really it, it did. did. It set them up. Like, I said, okay, they're going to be in the bottom two regardless in the first 15 minutes of the fucking show. So, now that we've gotten through the rehearsals, Shay, Shay and Sasha did their rehearsal. They were funny. We don't need to talk about this. We know they won. The well, which one do we want to talk? Which group do you want to tackle first? Nina and Valentina or Alexis and them? We have time for Nina and Valentina. Let's get to Alexis, Peppermint, and Trinity. I hope the fuck you all caught that tea when Alexis Michelle, bitch ass motherfucking Michelle, excuse my French polyvu Francais, sat there and went to Michelle. Did you catch the tea at the end of that? Right after they said, oh, that was great. But, but wait, wait, wait. Did you catch wait, the wait. tea? Did you catch did that you extra catch consonant it? in that word? You, you did, are you sure? And here's me. I could have done it because you know I can do it. Here's me. Here's me. I can me. do it. You tried peppermint. You, you, got you tried okay. peppermint. You tried peppermint. You tried it. You tried her, girl. I was like, now that's not fucking cool at all. I was like, what is this? Doing, doing the fucking most. <laughs> doing the most. Oh, this is my most passionate review, y'all. Forgive me. I'm like hot over this episode. <laughs> Trinity was doing a real good job. Trinity did really good. Trinity is the most, probably one of the most mature you know contestants in this competition as of right now. And she has proven to us that she is not that pageant girl everyone thought she was going to be. She did not go home within the first two episodes. She has been consistently good at what she does. If she has to lip sync, she slays it. And she takes direction well. Yeah. She's sitting there... I on the prize for Trinity and represent the South very well, Miss Trinity Taylor. So I'm not pissed at Trinity at all. And Peppermint did a f- good fucking job too. But good old, good old Lexus Michelle. That one is, I don't, something ain't. Hmm. And, don't and you heard me say this on the last episode. I really liked her at the beginning of the at show. The begin- well, you know what? She did arrive into the workroom with that fupa. And I talked about her in that fupa. And she's had that bad square bob padding. Cause you remember that um, that uh, Lady Gaga look with the black Ooh, dress? Yes, you saw, like, her yes. Hips were it was squared. like a cardboard box was used as as her padding. <laughs> like bless her soul. But <laughs> that whole that whole thing was a mess. Now on to our good sis and Valentina. <laughs> we had high hopes. We had. High now, hopes. Last week we were together watching this and we saw that they were going to be, because you know they did like a little flash preview of who's going to be in teams. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, Valentina and Nina, they did uh, Untuck last week and they were funny by themselves. I'm like, oh, this is this is easy. They, they had a good chemistry. Yeah. They, had good, they have good chemistry, y'all. But it just wasn't but put into fruition. And I'm just like, how, how, did they, how are they going to mess this up? Because we're seeing all the rumors, all the stuff, all the blah, blah, blah. But how do you mess this up? Like Child. they're funny by themselves. Child. How could they mess this up? Child. But we saw that the reason, the real reason why they messed it up is because they didn't really have the ideas to. It, it was in my face. I know y'all. It's okay. They didn't have the time to get their like ideas and structured enough. So they kind of were. Go ahead, Jamar. Continue. I'm just. I'm getting my body dumb. right. <laughs> Getting Look at his shimmer in his right. shoulders. Oh, so that's they didn't have no, during the lip sync. They did. That's what you're doing down there. Runway. Oh, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll okay, get there. Come on, we'll get sis. There. Okay. We'll get there. 
So they didn't have it. They tried to get their the whole environment ready and thought they could just kind of ad lib their way through it. But it didn't work out like that. The last part was kind of funny. It was. And even Michelle said on the runway, I could still watch them all day do that though. <laughs> because it was it was one of those That's things that were so was bad like, that it was funny. They should have at least had somebody else from the other team lip sync against somebody else. But I don't mm, Okay. But that, there was no way to do that. It should have been more. Uh, God, but I felt like that was based on the challenge and the, the runway should have been like pulled in here more. I'm and sorry. I just really have to quote the one part from the other scene when uh, about the uh, Nina did her death drop. She's like, I didn't know that we weren't supposed to drop dead. Valentine was like, mm. ah! Cut. Like, <laughs> the, the joke. Where was it? Zoom. Zoom. Oh, like gone. Gosh. Like you know how someone was trying to land the plane but they couldn't like get on the ground so they had to keep going? That was pretty much it. But that you know joke. what? That did have some promise. Powerball. That, that makeup part did have some promise in there. Like had they got a chance to prepare that a little bit longer, that would have been really, really funny. It would have. <laughs> but it like they like what's his name for the real O'Neills had said <clears throat> I didn't really watch that show, y'all forgive me. He was like it was like a movie versus an actual pilot for a mm. television series. Because it said you have to have a formula to have something else for the next episode. Which RuPaul was able to give that formula when she gave an example of what they could have done with that. And so, again, a wasted opportunity, but still, I didn't think it was as bad as it was. I mean, it was like, kind of like, but it, yeah, was, it wasn't as, it's, it, wasn't I've as seen bad. a lot worse. Yeah, we've seen a lot worse but on that, the show. But the one thing I will say is that <laughs> Nita was into it the you whole time. You know what was a lot worse? Season six, Adore Delano, the Scream Queen Challenge. Gaga Deloria! That one. That was Gia. Yeah, but Adora was the captain child. Adora. I forget what it, I was trying to remember that the it was other Adora, day. Adora, Gia, Ben, um, <clears throat> De La Creme, Vivacious. Your mother's a socks I think mean, your mother's a socks. I was like, oh wait, the boom. Line, like, that was and much worse. She just kind of stood there like. I mean, she couldn't go anywhere. She was in the middle of the drape. But then, who, I forget, we're off topic. <laughs> I give y'all examples. You know what I'm We're talking about. Because we, we'll go there forever. We will. We will. We will. But, um, but yeah, so it wasn't as bad as what we've seen in the past before, but if we're judging it based on what happened on this episode, it was. Um, Shay and Sasha. <laughs> that won. was brilliant. They won. I'm about to say, there's no brilliant. reason to even... Sasha? Okay, quickly on Sasha. She was reading the fuck out of Trinity. Oh, I forgot about that. The the, the beginning of the episode. Right. You know, they all conjugate you in, the, a joke. in the what you call it. Then, you know, they're saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to rub your head for good luck. And she's like, well, first, you, you now have lice. And she's like, I'm from <laughs> Alabama. I'm used to that. And I was like, no, girl, wait a minute. Oh, you told a joke. Oh, spook. <laughs> That Sasha, shit was funny. Wait a minute. Let me find out you were Shady Queen on the law. I was like, where is my book? Let me find out you were Shady Queen <laughs> on the law. Where is my book? I was like, this bitch is reading. And then later on, got her together. Oh, I love this dress. He's like, it I'm going to first... steal this dress. Don't be surprised if it's missing. I didn't go take it. She's like, uh, you have to fit it first. Good luck fitting in it. I'm like, Spook. <laughs> Spook. I'm Sasha. I said, well. I'm living for you, dude. All righty then. Come on, Cicely Tyson. All that chicken. Buck, buck, buck. I love it. It's like one of my favorite things to say. So, um. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he tried it. Wearing, I just, I just wearing said, green, okay. knowing Michelle Visage slightly skims through these videos. And I still look better than the last week. If Michelle, if you're watching this, I love you. I, I do. I love than Michelle. Than Michelle last week. Ooh, and at least it looks green. Okay. okay. And it's all the way down my body. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. And then pulls out a tiny little one dollar hat. Bit. Okay, stop. Sorry, we're doing it again. <sighs> so many bad things about Alexis Michelle. But listen, let's get to the runway. Okay. Well, wait. We can't. I'm gonna uh, quickly oh, refer back the to yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the actual shows. Uh, Chick Fil A and Sasha are not slick. Okay, because nobody else said anything about it. The judge didn't say anything about it, but we saw that little uh, upper ass grab at the end. I said, mm hmm. Y'all was doing Y'all was doing a little bit tickly tickly. I was like, okay. Up in each other's tucks. I was like, okay. I, I was like, because you know they want to bone. You know they probably banged the Iron State. <laughs> no. I'm... I know they didn't, but they want to. So. What the f 
<laughs> I'm like, we just saw Shea Coule live with her boyfriend. I know that was months ago, but I always assumed that they already had a boyfriend. I mean, I know they didn't left. really do anything, but you know, but they're always always just that cute. little. The flirting yeah. is cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's a good. It's a good look. Um, but also, we didn't have a Debbie Downer moment. We didn't have someone died, someone Ew. fell off of a bridge, AIDS, no all that cancer. type of stuff. No sad nothing, stories Nothing today. that's like extremely deep that happened in the midst of it. And not that there, well, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it was like becoming a trend like, every episode. We have to talk about death, cancer, demise, bullying, self all that self And that's good because a lot of people need to hear that but True. only within a 30 45 second but time frame of a 45 minute run show It just became like a formula of like, hey, here comes the cancer It's story. like drama 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 and then doom and then doom 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 So <laughs> we didn't have that tonight which was good and I was glad about that but um they talked about club kid culture all I thought to myself was vivacious, vivacious, vivacious. They slapped you in the face with this challenge because oh, you would have killed it. She would have killed it. It would have been on the money. It would have been on the money. I mean, vivacious practically did Club Kid Runway every week that she was on, on Drag Race. No, except for the first one because that was just her walking kind of, you know, Babe, good old, that, that, pow, good old, pow, that pow, New York ballroom pow, style pow, walking. Pow. But um, <laughs> when she came out for the second time in that uh, red and black, that was definitely Club Kid. Like, down but as far as rating the club kid looks we liked all of them except for alexis michelle <laughs> i don't think alexis finished her costume oh. i don't think she finished but is there, is there anything is there anything from those from the actual performances that we want to talk about oh you want to talk about the performances first we get to, we get to the runway i mean because i wanted to gag over everybody like real quick i mean no performance wise okay. I mean, there's really not much to to really talk about the performance. I mean, There's more to talk about for the runway. Yeah, the okay, so I guess for the performances, um, we can say, okay, we're cutting through this. So for the performances part, before we get to the runway here, I would like to say that the performances from, um, I guess, Trinity Peppermint, Alexis team, that was actually pretty good. I would watch that. I'd watch it too. I would want to recast Alexis after the first season or after the pilot. To try to do her like they did on uh, the Prince of Bel Air, where the mom just replaced yes. her and not ever say anything yes. or acknowledge even though first, it's a whole different Even though woman. first mom <laughs> is the best mom, after that dance scene, everybody dance now. She went, uh, and, look, uh, and she went to that dance ooh. and went to that hallway. <sighs> Still one of the best episodes of Fresh Prince of Bel Air by far. Um, <laughs> Oh man, that's good stuff. But uh, oh, shit. Okay. I also watched yes. Shea Coule and Sasha's show. I watched that show funny. too. And if Nina and Valentina's was put together, that would have been great. But as you well. know what? They said it perfectly. They said it would come on at 4 a.m. Yep, 4 a.m. on Adult Swim. Because <laughs> they show all kind of crazy shit. Oh, oh especially on the weekend. Whoa, like and they would fit right in. Have you seen the one? Okay, see, I'm getting off topic, but real quick here, if y'all Adult Swim fans, have you seen the one where they have that like wrestling type of thing, and it has like this. It's like live. It's the craziest shit ever. It's actually like, uh, we'll, I'll talk about it Saturday night. I'm gonna show you. You can actually get on adultswim.com and there's like this whole little thing where these people like fight, I guess, but it's weird. Like, and they're all amateur wrestlers. Yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, get in that comment section and let me have it. But if you don't know what I'm talking about. Hmm. Like me? I don't. I just, I just want to just love. You better not. I, I just, I just want to do a little, for locks, love for locks. But listen. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, uh. As you was over here shimmying, I can't get over here and give. You know what? I don't take this. <laughs> Proceed, bitch. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. I just was caught up in your affair of faucet moment there. Baby, <laughs> your bird. I can't help it. That's like the funniest thing ever. <laughs> she better drive that car around you the You know round. she had to put that damn, uh, some alcohol on that skid mark on her leg. Oh, hmm. Hmm. And wore a bodysuit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, uh, but, <laughs> Let's get into this runway. First Ooh. up was Sasha Velour in sad clown couture gown Classic club kid, club kid realness. The, probably the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about club kid outfit. Like it was like glamour and then not glamour at the same time in all art. It was fucking brilliant. Very on brand for Sasha as well. Shea Kool Aid, Deadpool. I was waiting for this runway. Deadpool, since the Lee Bowery down of 
this year. It was Deadpool and Malia Bowery. Down. Now, a <laughs> chick who lay, shout out to her for, she was dedicated. She was hot putting glue that, hot that glue shit on her face. On her face. She's like, ah! She's like, what Alexa's you? like, don't burn yourself. I'm like, yeah, please don't. No, it's no, not baby, no, what are you doing? I, I, I don't know if she was putting like the pieces on. Like, why didn't I you think, put it on the table, hot glue it, and then stick it on? She probably wanted baby. to make sure it was perfectly aligned with the brow and the eye, so that way it wouldn't be like up here at one point and look kind of like off kilter from what the other maybe, eye was going to look like. Maybe, but, but baby. Or, or for camera. I mean, all for the sake of beauty, I suppose, but it looked sickening. It, it was. It was pretty. <coughs> it was pretty hot. And I noticed you have every oh, those stockings in multicolored, baby. Okay, who came up after? I think it was Nina that came up after them. Nina Benina Brown. Now, Nina, I was cons I didn't know what that bottom half was going to look like. As I say, now she has no breastplate today, and you know, I'm, I want to save that. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. But she didn't have her breastplate this time, so she was trying to get more of a club kid as opposed to the female illusion part. But she's not going to go anywhere without her hips now. She may not give you one, but she's going to give you the were, other. The hips were <laughs> fucking tacked. That was she okay. She's give you that body, yaddy, yaddy, I'm going to say this. Because you know I love you, Nina. I know you're watching this episode. Um, shout out for the phone call earlier, by the way, because you calmed me down this much. I'm still mad at, I'm still mad at other shit, but listen. Your face was phenomenal. They can, y'all can't say nothing about that face. That mug was everything. Now this side part, I don't know what that was about going on over here. I thought that was a little, I didn't know if it fell off while she was walking or she was like, nah, we're just gonna give that craziness. And like she said on the runway, I wish she had painted the entire body. Oh. Can you imagine if she had the time? Oh yeah. my God. It'd been I was about to say, because hmm. Nina can't do full Nina in the time that they probably give her for exactly. the show. Like, if she could go and do, like, what she does on Instagram and YouTube. If she had, <laughs> if she had a mini tuxedo jacket and she just got this part right here done, it'd have been perfect. I just remember something. What? About Nina before we run away. What? <laughs> what happened? After they showed <laughs> their pilot episode, then I was like... I'm just going to look this way because I already know that the judges are reading me right now. So I'm just going to cackle at the screen and be like, because I know that they're reading me right now. So I'm just going <laughs> to. Child, that was so funny. She said, I'm not even going to look. She's like, I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to. She put that hand up like, mm -mm, I'm mm -hmm. not going to look you in the face. I'm going to just keep my eyes on the TV screen. Can't look at them in the face because that those their faces were stuck like. They were not happy. They were not having it. They was not having it. And Carson it. being so nice. Gave him the slow clap. I'm like, ooh, you so shit. So <laughs> with that horrible eyeliner he was wearing. Oh. RuPaul. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Is it just me? Or did we just now notice that RuPaul does not wear nails on the front way? Is this the first time? I think this is the... Because I swear I would have noticed that before. Because I know she had on no nails today. Because she had her little boy hands. Is that new? Somebody tell us. Just really quickly. Is this the first time that we paused it and it was like, what? <laughs> it, it was, I was confused. I was really confused. Um, but to get back on the runway here, we did kind of just go into like a three minute split run on that. Valentina. That shaka, shaka, shaka con. Shaka, shaka, shaka con. And... We were trying to figure out what they look like. Matador, and as soon as she and said it, I said it. I said, don't you say I, it. Oh, I said in my mind, but I wasn't going to, I was like, maybe not. I don't want to be in the minority here, mm. but Michelle said it. Like, this fell more on glamour than Club Kid. And it, she really could have endured this for her hometown runway. It was Matador couture with a slight mm -hmm. avant-garde feel versus club kid. The mask was a very nice touch. The spider lash was great. Like from the neck, well, the from hat, the, the neck to the forehead. Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. I didn't like the here, board. Up here, I'm not... Mm. She had the matador hat to go along with the um, poncho or what, what they call the little cape, uh, capelet thing that she had on or whatever. It looked good. It just wasn't... For that runway, the, yeah. yeah, it just wasn't for that runway. I mean, it, it could have been good. used somewhere else and been because it was it was fire. Like seeing her walking on the runway with it, but I was like, that's definitely more contour and an editorial piece than like a magazine. And even though she may not have hit the mark necessarily, the next bitch 
Miss Trinity, Trinity Taylor. Trinity Taylor. Trinity Taylor. Dead on the money. Let me tell you something about Trinity Taylor. <laughs> Come on, Alabama. Come on, Dead Florida. Dead on the money. That was so. Yeah. And the mask. And the mask. The. Ma the uh, uh, walk, walk, walk. Uh, I was uh, like, walk, okay. walk, walk. Come on. Like, she was killing it. Killing it. Killing it. She said, I wanted to look like I had a venereal disease. And <laughs> she had a couple of bumps to prove it. I said, come on, sis. I said, all right. Like, it was it was fire. Like, that Trinity Taylor, head. again, continues to fucking impress me and everybody else that's watching the show. Give that girl her coots. And who continues to disappoint me. Well, well, peppermint first, peppermint first, peppermint first. Because Alexis ended it. But what a way to end the runway. Okay, but peppermint. Brand. I knew I was going to be snatched by that from the previous. Brand. You had peppermints on you. Your face was done. Everything was right. Lips together. Lashes full. Skirt <clears throat> pressed. Miss Thing, you made up for all the first three runways. She was saying that. She was like, y'all y'all may think, y'all may look at me for wearing pink all the time. Y'all may read me for wearing pink. But I got something for you. I got something for you. my sleeve. I have it. It was everything. <laughs> it was sick. I live. I live great. peppermint. I wanted, I wish I had a fan to go thorp right now, but it, it was fire. Now, who do we... How did she get here? <laughs> She's not supposed to be here. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> the remix. I, I just have questions. Yo, let's talk about Alexis Michelle. Okay, here's where we'll start with the positives before we just go in. There's positives? Yeah, the neck up. Well, chin up. Chin up. No neck. It was That was where she stopped. The <laughs> neck... The neck up was... The neck up. With I keep needing to say the neck up. Those brows. Y'all, why did she put them brows on with an all black top half right here? That made no sense. Why even sense. have brows? And then they weren't, they weren't even, they were paper, so they were already coming off. Like if she turned to the angle, you could see that they weren't even attached to her head. And then someone in the comment section, even though Nina Bonina Nina Brown has done paper headdresses all this motherfucking time, at least they're put together. At least they look good and are symmetrical. And it made sense. Like, ugh. and you could see it. I don't think so. I don't think so. And then let's talk about the neck down. Mm. What did Michelle say that gave me my life? What did I say? I, I said misshapen. First, the first word when she stepped out, misshapen. Didn't say BMW. I didn't reuse a Latrice stroke. Okay. Now she she tried to get me together. She said that that's this old joke that a lot of drag queens use, which is true. It just, I mean, it, I it was just it shady. It was of, even on. It was just Michelle. shady of them to put it in there, knowing they were gonna, they were gonna make that comparison. Shady producers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but what did Michelle call it? She said something about a tired. A corset. body stocking with a corset. Basically. A body stocking with a corset. Everybody. She said, "I'm giving you body." When they turn around, the like, ass I'm serving like, you sex. I'm like, "Are you?" No. Are you serving no, me sex? No, you were not. Are club kids supposed to be sexy? I don't even care. I just know <laughs> that it was some fuckery as usual. Alexa. You know what? Honestly, I'm going to I'm going to uh, try to play devil's advocate with her, her look. What she I'm going to tell her I'm going to give her constructive criticism on her makeup right What now. would you say? Cuz you saw how she was kind of like trying to paint down her neck or whatever. Now, and green. Now what she, mm -hmm. <laughs> Now what she could have done is made like a defined line that was definitive of around it could have been like she was wearing a sheet. And she could have just did a defined black line around her neck. In her head, and that would have been fine. But instead, she just hmm. kind of looked like she just tried to blend down on her skin and just stopped. It just was like ended here. Yeah, like if you just drew a line and just did like a contrast, it would have made a little bit more sense. My thoughts on it: Why not do the whole fucking body? I'm gonna say time. I'm gonna I try feel to give you. her time. I feel you, but... but if you didn't have the time, don't commit to the look. Did Alexis Michelle go back and untuck? Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't blend I down my neck? I not wait for untucked. I, I walked wait. down the runway. Did you guys let me walk out like this? <laughs> Anybody's Your stockings are falling down. <laughs> all the people who thumbs down this video are Alexis fans. 
Oh man, y'all, I always have to say this. I do not hate Alexis. I don't hate but her, but it's I been just a disappointment don't like what she's doing on the show. Since the moment she said, you guys should have told me what I need to do. Ever since that happened, I have been like giving her oh, like a raised eyebrow, like what? Oh, you're one of those people. Okay, got gotcha. you. You're talking about oh, you talk about Nina, you talking about oh, oh, it just makes me sick. Okay. <laughs> that was the runway. You heard the judges' critiques. We need to get to this lip sync. Now, children, you oh all know God. through Reddit, we all knew, because, of course, somebody keeps spoiling the fucking seasons and starting to piss me off. But, well, I'm looking for it at the same time, too, so. Uh, but <laughs> Valentina and Nina had to lip sync. Shea kool and Sasha win the challenge, uh -huh. rightfully so. <clears throat> That's the second time for both of them doing that. Shay's third, third win wins. still hasn't been in the bottom. Sasha's second win. Partnered, if you, whatever. Ooh, Trinity may have some read for her next week on that. Well, but she can because now. Yeah, still <laughs> Sasha hasn't had a lip sync, so. Hmm. But hmm. she has fallen in the bottom. Well, even still, Trinity films. Trinity had a lip sync, so. Damn, Sasha's been in the bottom three two times now. Oh when? shit! Yeah. Who's she in the bottom? Lunch twice? lady for nine hundred two one ho, and Who's then also time? when she had to do the. Um, the oh that was the same episode yeah but I said that oh, she that was, was the only in the episode. bottom once why am I thinking that's two different looks uh, okay sorry Sasha love you um I do I like Sasha's everything um and after like, all those reads she's been getting... yes not even just that but her attitude alone in the show is like phenomenal like you don't ever you never expect negativity from her so right. so about this cat uh, come what's this, the Catastrophe that was lip sync. So it starts off, it's greedy Ariana Grande. Now, children, children, children. Ariana Grande, this isn't this isn't some old shit, okay? This is new. This is and they've heard the this album. This album came out in May of 2016. They started filming August, September. So it's been some months. And this is a big pop, you know, cult pop culture, you know, diva whose uh music you can't escape. So she's a radio queen. You should know this song, and even still, I heard the song for the first time last night. Cause you know I like Ariana Grande, but I wasn't like really feeling her last album. Mm -hmm. But I heard it last night. I had the words down within the first three listens of me listening to it. Three times I listened to it, and I'm like, okay, I got it. You know what I know. Here's what the thing. thing: when you're a contestant on Drag Race, especially if you know you fucked up, when you're a drag queen, you know you fucked up. You should be in the back during some time of untucked because they don't show us everything. Somewhere in those, however long you're down there, there should be iPod buds in your ears. And there should be a certain song on replay over and over as you're in the mirror. Now, you know what? You know how most people uh, in untucked, they'll, they show themselves practicing in the mirror. I don't even think Valentina did that. Hold on. We haven't seen untucked yet. We haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet. I hope she did. That would make me feel better. I would that be would make sick me to my stomach so to know that that girl came out there and didn't even listen to that shit before she walked on the stage. Now, baby, let's get to it. Now, the lip sync began. Sister did not take her mask off. And Michelle was like, is she going to keep that mask on? And they're just waiting. They're like, I don't know. They're we're actually, we're about actually to slowly the just... And we're like... Rue's like, I don't know. And then the guy from The Real O'Neal's... Is she going to take the mask off? Or, I don't know. I don't like, know. This is a lip sync. I don't know. And Nina's just over here like, shit, I'm doing what Nina's I'm supposed to do. Nina's over there turning back. <laughs> you know what I, you, I know I'm doing what I'm supposed like, to do. I don't know about you, but. <laughs> Nina over there bucking, and Valentina's in one fucking place to giving you. Now, Valentina, were, if, okay, let's say you wanted to try to get away with this. Hmm. Let's say, we're going to try to be on your team. Try. Try. If you wanted to make get away with this, you should have been kicking. You should have been spinning. Yeah, you should like, have been distracting here's the, the fuck thing. out of those judges. We talked about this. If her hand movements, leg work, all that was killing it, I can see them taking it more. They probably still yeah. would have stopped her. They probably would have still but stopped her, but it would have gave her more points in the lip sync as she was going along. But mm -hmm. she was giving you sultry and subtle to that song. Right. Greedy. Even if I don't know the song, Greedy. I can get down to the beat. Like, especially since I'm tempo. Like it's it's not hard. It's but not you know, hard. I guess she's not really a, a, a dancer. 
But I look. You still got rhythm. I would have still has rhythm. everything. I would have been trying to do. I would have turned around, gave you know one of them numbers, one of them silhouettes, like something to distract. And as them I told you, I'd have killed that shit. from the fact that I'd have killed that song. I don't have a ma- that I'm supposed to have this mask on. Please. And then, so they stopped the performance. Rupaul. And it's like, hold up. Hold, hold, stop the music. Stop the music. I said, God I damn it, like, we're doing oh, it again. Oh, here we go. RuPaul needs to stop with the fuckery. It's like, oh. They never stopped the lip sync midway. Not before. mid, not mid lip sync. Not mid lip sync. Not even mid. They were like 30 seconds into the fucking song. Like, stop. Uh-uh, and they were uh-uh. like, uh, Valentina, you do understand this is a lip sync. sync. He's like, can you, can you take, take the mask, mask off? off? I like to leave my mask, mask on. on please. Like, I want to leave my mask on, please. We're like, uh oh. Call, word of wonder, like, word of wonder, call someone, call someone. We have another pearl moment. It's a pearl this, moment, people. <laughs> this is a lip sync. What part of that don't you understand? And RuPaul was in there digging her dead and right like... Take your mask off. <laughs> and there was another stare And then down. I saw that lip. I was like, oh. That's why I saw that see, first. It's like, I was like, oh, how can it's you, the lip. How can you really... I was like, wait, is she like bare-faced under here like like she only painted from like because that's what i was up. thinking at first i'm like oh but she... then as it progressed but she took the mask off finally okay just like okay Baby. reset started over girl said the first part of the lyrics and then went and then here goes here goes valentina oh, i was like you know that i'm greedy for <laughs> and then the lyrics are going she just like There's no Valentina. excuse. Okay. There's no excuse. I have to ask you a question. Okay. 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 Was this worse than Charlie? Yes. And tell the why. All right, people. Listen to what I got to say. All right? And hear me on this. Valentina fans, I know that's your girl. I think she's sickening the same way. And it's not taking away anything from her. But hear me fucking out. If you're a goddamn drag queen, I feel like who... who I'm channeling Delta Work at this point. If you're a goddamn drag queen... Know the words, the fucking song. Especially if you know you're gonna have to lip sync to stay in this competition. Like I don't mm. want to believe that Valentina just thought, "Oh, I'm so sickening. I won't be in the bottom." I'm gonna pray to Guadalupe, and I hope that she makes me go through this. You have listen for people of faith. You still have to put in work in. You can you can you can pray to God, but God's not gonna bless those who don't want to actually do better for themselves. Hello. So Guadalupe, in the same right, is like sister, sister. Do you know the words? I don't know what I could do for you today. <laughs> she sat there and was not, she only did the like light chorus parts, like in the chorus and maybe like the background vocal parts. It was sad. It was sad. And then to see Valentina I, crying about it, that made it even worse. I, I was like, felt oh man. so bad because I do like Valentina. I wanted her to be in the top three. I, I kind of did too. I, I really I, I did. I will say I did too. I wanted her top three. But, and it's we, so strange we because high they, hopes. they built her up to be there. They made it seem like Valentina was going to win. She had a win on her belt. She was in the top three a couple of times. You know, it was like she was never in the bottom until tonight. They never even said anything but bad about her until tonight. Y'all, you got to know the words. You got to know the and words. And now, again, Valentina stands. We're going to try to stop you at every chance you get. I don't want anybody to come into the comments and say, well, if she was paired with anybody else other than Nina, she oh, would have done oh, better. Okay, now, no, now, no, no. now I get to speak on that. If they, it's not like, uh, remember the Kardashian thing when, when Valentina was paired with Farrah? Valentina was doing it. She was doing very well. Farrah was fucking up on her own. But this time, Valentina was just as unprepared as Nina was. <laughs> and was you, can, you can't say Nina did that to her. And on no. top of that, y'all... Okay, this is where we're going to get into the, my main point here. I am so fucking disgusted with some of you fans and how the fuck you are treating these drag queens and these people who are contestants on this show that we all love. Do not go into somebody's comment section until they need to die. Fuck you, bitch. I hope you go to, I hope you go to hell. Da, 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 da. The shit we were reading after the show... On, was this on Nina's Instagram? This is on Nina's Instagram. That's the, y'all. What Talking the about, what the fuck? You need to die. We what you're what a low fuck? low budget excuse for a drag what the queen. Fuck? Here's the thing, y'all are showing very low Ooh. signs of intelligence because if you watch the show or have any familiarity with the show, I want you to point me to the time and minute and second to where Nina 
decides that Valentina goes home? Is it not Nina or is it RuPaul? Are y'all going on Miss Mama RuPaul's page and telling her that she send deserved, her a tweet that she deserves send to her die a tweet if you're mad about something because she was the one that wrecked your girl's feelings and said stop the now, fucking performance and take off your mask. How was Valentina robbed when Valentina didn't? Oh see? my god! Oh my god! Well, Say she was paired with Nina, and Nina so negative. No, 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 no. Was Valentina robbed if she did not? Lip sync. Was Charlie Hyde's robbed when she went against Trinity because she's so At least sickening. Charlie's saying the words. She may have did a little She's a little hokey pokey, you right. know, <laughs> like a little shuffle, a little, a little old lady there. Hey, right. I'm not breaking no more bones step, today. But Valentina was just the... There's no excuse. There was no excuse. There is no excuse. And I, and honestly, if Jamar knows how mad I am because honestly, I could have screamed a lot louder in the middle of this review because I was fucking sick. I was sick to know that this girl didn't know the lyrics of the song. I was even more hurt that she was upset and crying about it. Not hurt that she was crying. I was hurt for her like I know you wanted this. But you girl, know she wanted it. But if you wanted it, why didn't you, you practice You had to the know song? the fucking why words. Why didn't you And it's like, well, at that time, you know, everything went blank because of your emotions. That shows a lack of time in the business, of experience as a drag queen. This episode had a lot of firsts. Because, and I said this, and it's kind of made it even worse. Because when she, when, you know, normally when RuPaul tells somebody to sash away, says, oh, you're this, that, the fourth, you're so amazing, keep on doing this. She said, I had high, I, hopes. I had high hopes for you. Get the fuck out. She didn't say get the fuck out. <laughs> but it was, it was not as, Sashay it wasn't a away. pleasing way for she her to leave. Pissed. It was like, I really expected a lot from you, Valentina. Now sashay away. Like, damn. Like, she damn. She didn't even say continue to be a Latin something cute. No, she didn't get none of that. <laughs> you, I want to I go on RuPaul's page and see if they're reading her. I really want to, I want to see if they're trying to get on RuPaul's page for saying uh, all the stuff about Valentina because y'all go up here going against my sis Nina. I do trying too. Trying to tell her about who she is as a drag queen when she's the one who just did her job. I do too. I do too. She just did her job. I do too. Like... And as as another, I'm I'm gonna be a warrior for Nino tonight. There's a, a particular podcast who, throughout the season, have mentioned how they're tired of Nina doing all these characters. They said, "Oh, she's done a Peach. She's done an Alien." But what podcast she's is done, it? What um, podcast is it? Not worthy of you naming. <laughs> They've done like they've listed all the characters that she did up until that point. She was like, I just wish I just want to have something about um some glamour, some glamour look. And I wrote into them and said, Well, if we watch in the episodes, episode two, she actually walked down the runway in a white, you know, feminine Absolutely. impersonation glamour that, look. That, right. And when Absolutely. they read it, they was like, Oh, well, I guess I just don't remember that one. Do you know why you don't remember that particular mm. look? It's because it was I mean, I don't want to say it's basic to take anything away from Nina, but right. it was Basic in person. It was basic drag. Right. Like, the, you know how you was able to list all those other looks that she did? It's because they were original. Yep. They were something that nobody else has really done yep. on the uh, show before. And I'm like, why do you want her to do basic things? The pro Here's the thing. And we, we continue to stress this point with you fans of the show and everything that's going on. I've also got this on Facebook Live right now. Say what's up, Jamar. Everybody, Facebook Live. Hey. Everybody. Um... This personal attacking shit on these contestants, these are people, okay? These are not just characters on a TV show that were made for fiction. These are real people. And I can talk about Alexis Michelle till my fucking face is blue, okay? But I'm and, never gonna tell her to die. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna say that that bitch should die. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say gonna her to go her fuck her herself. Spot, but I'm yeah. not gonna tell her to die. We'd never let that bald spot go, do we? No. We're never gonna let as long as she's out there uh, pulling tricks, I'm gonna refer to her to her deficiencies. Baby, I'm burning. <laughs> What's going? Anyways, hey George, <laughs> sorry, but yes, the, I just feel like when it comes to these queens, they're very they look at people one way, but they don't apply the same rule to everybody else. Oh, Nina should have went home because she's had a bad attitude for the past the two fuck? episodes. Who? Okay, why would you think someone having a like, bad attitude warrants them for going home? This is a talent competition, okay? They, they Not a personality. Oh, They were referring to Aja. Aja uh, sat there and had a whole bitch fit about that Grand Drea part. And she had a whole bitch fit in Untucked talking so about how perfect Valentina was. Exactly. Did we forget this? 
Shut up. Did we forget this? <laughs> Shamar is like doing this. I'm, I'm like, okay, whoop, let's, let's I'm, go ahead. So look, I'm telling hmm. you. And then they're like, oh, I wish Nina wouldn't wear this big breastplate every week. Like, I wish she would give us something different. And then, uh, I wish, yeah, uh, oh, I, Sasha, I wish she wouldn't go out there and paste these. Like, where are the breasts? Like, what do you want? That's like, for, that was for me because I said that. Oh, well. But no, I, I just think sometimes I'm like, I want to get a little bit more. But, you know, it, it is what it is. But the end all be all children of the universe, people of Adam and Eve. I gotta say show. this. It's a fucking show. It's a comp reality competition show. That this is edited, months filmed ago. months ago. You going on someone's page and saying they should die. You look stupid. It's not even you look stupid. That That's called karma, baby. Reflection. When you say things like that, what's going on with you? What happened? What happened? Watch. What happened, girl? What happened, love? What <laughs> happened? Because... This you don't even know this person. Shit. And you're talking about how they have all the. Why don't you like such and such? They don't. All of that is done. That's months ago. They're all cool now. They've all had this experience. They were in a pressure cooker at the moment. So you can. I. You can get you pissed go with anybody. from being in a workroom doing some shit for hours to then going to a main stage where you have to then wait hours upon them deciding on who needs the lip sync to then you going back to then waiting for the person to then put the what they go in there first. Um... That's so weird how they film it because they go in and see notes from the other people, but the lipstick message is left there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so do they get to go in and actually see the lipstick message, but just leave notes? I think. And not say anything until the next episode? I think, I don't, because there'd be a whole lot to consider. It's, you know, when somebody mentioned this, that an interesting way to watch the episode is to wait until Saturday, watch the episode up until the lip sync, and then watch Untucked. Mm-hmm. And then stop it until right after, before they go back, you know, mm, five minutes left. Then actually watch the lip sync and then watch the um, the last part of Untucked as they walk away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be weird. That's a yeah. lot going that's, on. That's too much work. So <laughs> I'm not about that. So here's here's the thing, kittens. You know, regardless that they're leaving the notes, okay, she's going home, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. They have... Oh, so little time to be by themselves and to like really gas for air. There's so many cameras on them. That's the life that they chose. They want to be on this show. Jamar, no, I want to be on a show like that. Put me on any reality show right now. Put me on there. Put me on there. I'll, I can kill it. Reg I'm top three no matter what. I already tell the children of the universe. I'll be top three whatever show you put me on. Could y'all imagine us on the same drag, same drag race season? That would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> what what's what's this look, honey? What 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 the the Oh wait. Speaking of looks. We I forgot, forgot about it. We forgot we about forgot. it. Ooh. I am so glad that that came back to my mind. Ooh, we that look. Okay. The look. So Peppermint During the Peppermint During the judging. Peppermint. Alexis felt the need, okay, because Alexis was getting. A I lot have of something critiques. to say, as you, as Alexis usual, was getting a lot of. Critiques. Alexis was a child in school that challenged every fucking teacher and was like, "But, but, but." When I read it yesterday, what I interpreted from this, that was that she is that kid. No, she was trying to make more excuses. She was trying to be like, they were trying to say, "Oh, you weren't really standing out." Well, it's because I feel like most of the I was more of the producer and all of that stuff that came really from me. Behind it. That came from me. It was like, like what the fuck? And Trinity and Peppermint just slowly. Like... <laughs> but but it and was then, the look back. As they turned back, it was like it was the look back. The look back. Like, no, let's do Pe <laughs> Peppermint's was like this. <laughs> <laughs> the eye opened up and it was like, okay. And then she goes, I can't let that go. I'm sorry. I have something to say about it. That's not what happened. Peppermint professionally got her together, okay? And then Alexis, oh, I didn't mean it to be like that. I didn't that. mean to throw my sister oh, under the bus. I didn't like... mean it to be. Oh, my And even Trinity God. was like, okay, let me try to salvage this. Right. We all had balanced work. We all came up with everything equally. And yeah. Like, oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't want it to come off as like that. As usual, da -da 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 -da. Trinity is a professional. As usual, okay. I don't know what's going on with Alexis Michelle Michelle. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't care anymore. But what I will fucking say is, I wish you had lip sync tonight. I do. I wish she had lip sync tonight. Uh, that's gonna be. That's the real debate. Why didn't she lip sync 
over but you know what any of then Valentino you had to have had Nina you had to have had Nina and Valentino lip sync because it was a group challenge it wouldn't have it wouldn't have not been fair to choose one of them over the other but we don't like Alexis but then but we have but <laughs> I don't can't. think the judges really care for her either like they don't really like at you know it's never oh Alexis you're so it's like oh but you, but uh, you have to still like okay. How would the judges define okay? Which between Nina or Valentina would have won the top three? I mean, would have went in the bottom against Alexis. I would have said based on the oh shit, I would put Valentina in there because her look wasn't like Club Kid. Oh damn! So it there's been, no way it'd been either way. It'd been either way. Cannot save Valentina this time. You see how we just put that together? We you put that together. Can't save her. I put that together for you. Sorry. You cannot save her. He exactly. tried. He tried. Thanks, Facebook Live. Catch the YouTube video. Um, he tried, but no, no dice. <laughs> like whoa! I always tug my ear. If anybody notices that, that's Mary Tyler Moore. No, no, no. I'm sorry, not Mary Tyler Moore. That is um, oh Matthew uh, Carol Burnett. Carol Burnett. You know the Carol Burnett show, right? Mm -hmm. Love it so much. And Mama's Family. Oh my God, the first season. That's so far back in TV. And that's like when Rose and um, and Blanche were on there. When Shirley, uh, not Shirley, her name not Shirley McLean, child. Um, what is, what's her name? Ruth McClanahan, is that right? Rue. There's no TH. It's just Rue. I'm not talking about RuPaul. I'm talking about, Ru it's Rue? Yeah, I thought it was Ruth. No. What? R-U-E. What? Oh, the gays are killing me right now, I'm sure. This is going to be Matthew, edited out. You didn't know. Yeah, it's going to be edited out. <laughs> this is going to be edited out. Three, are you about to... two, one. No, I'm not. I was going to look it up, but I'm not. I'm sorry. I was going to say, you're about to try to look this okay, up. Okay, so we'll cut that out at minute 50. I need a beard off. But Valentina went home. And I don't even want to know what social media looks like right now. I had a, I had Racist. A I had a peek about it. They weren't even racist. They were just being awful human beings. <laughs> I saw a peek of it. I'm like, uh-uh. So, uh, we called Nina. Well, Shortly Jamar, after Jamar called Nina. I don't, Nina, I don't have your number, babe. You could have, you know. Maddie loves you, too. <laughs> I do, really. I'm going to leave that between you. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I am a power bottom. Allegedly. Allegedly. On Tuesdays. Okay. But she... We tried to call, and I was, you know, trying to be calm, but then this one... I'm in the background yelling. ...was going... Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! Because Nita was trying to be like, look, we already know this is coming. We already knew. The, the, then he just went on a tangent and just <laughs> was passionately angry about the tomfoolery that you young twinks are going to get on this Because it's like, y'all, calm down. Like, calm down. It's not that fucking... I'm not going to watch the show anymore. You said that Bye. last season. And then, these decisions that are made on this show... This is so damn long. The decisions that are made on this show that y'all act like y'all are so invested in, like y'all are going to kill yourselves over. Like, you do this... We do this every year. It's literally the same thing every year. Oh, I wish it such and such to go home. I'm going to kill him. I'm not going to watch the show anymore. But you'll be right there back next season looking at the spoilers for the season. Like, why do y'all even do that? Why do y'all put so much Get off of Reddit. Get off Reddit. Into the season. Get off Reddit. Stop looking up shit if you don't want to know shit. And at the same time, y'all just chill. We love this the show. Let us love me. the show. And be passionate about certain Girl. moments. But don't you personally attack somebody. Come on, buy some. Okay, so listen. It's okay. Okay. Listen, last little note on this because I'm all shiny now. I need to get out of here. Um, Boxes. It's too. I didn't put. I let the AC off for this. But um, y'all, <laughs> the Baywatch ads in between with Bob the Drag Queen and Katya. <laughs> we need more of that. They are all the like time. prime comedy queens. Man, they worked so well together. It wasn't even funny. Like that was good shit. I, I love. Never it. seen them together. Never seen them together. Ever. Mm -mm. They've never. They've never toured together. I don't believe. Because I think Bob's only toured with like the season eight girl. My only shade for Bob was at that first beginning uh, <laughs> scene. I saw nothing but these kind of chest hairs. <laughs> I said, now nah, they could doubt whoever zoomed look, was so you, shady. Look, at that point, oh, oh wait. speaking of zoom, zoom. <laughs> speaking, 
speaking of Zoom, the, the cameraman, you was a motherfucking shady asshole for zooming in on Nina Benina's pads after she just put them in, like, just scattered. You know, they just put them in just to be like, we're Mind you, like they, it was supposed to be like that, but it was still just shady. The way he went, <laughs> like, come on now. That was hot. That was awful. But y'all, look, we're ending this now. Thank you again for tuning in, for liking, for sharing, and subscribing. Please subscribe to both Jamar84's channel and my channel, Maddie Rants. Look down below. Those are the links, motherfuckers. That's Facebook and that's Instagram at Maddie Rants and on Twitter at How About Matthew. Also, if you need to email me anything personal, like if y'all want to talk about some things and stuff like that, I'm here for you, kids. So book, at book Maddie Rants at gmail.com and as well as for uh, business related things as well, because Matthew was ready to host. He's ready for the television. He's ready for the movie. So get me there, children. Get me there. Get me there. Get me there. Ow, I'm about to ow, say, are we about to start voguing? Ow, just get me there, okay? Jamar, you have anything to add before we end this? <laughs> Make sure you follow me on all of my social media platforms at Jamar84, except for Snapchat. That's Jamar844. Oh, and Snapchat for me is MR3Blog. MR3Blog. I don't really do be on Snapchat like that. Well, I do when I'm in, the, like, tonight I really want to get on Snapchat and just go all the fucking way in. But, um, yeah. Do you I have get... any more left in you to really do it? I always do. All right, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for liking again, and thanks for sharing. Jamar is going to find his face as it ran across the floor like it was another episode of Adam's Family. Good night. <laughs>